Fox News alert right now. Hunter Biden facing nine criminal charges for allegedly not paying taxes during a four-year period, while at the same time dishing out big bucks to bankroll an extravagant party lifestyle. It's all listed there. Peter Ducey joins us now from the White House. Peter. Brian, the special counsel is saying that Hunter Biden knew he had to pay taxes, but didn't. This indictment alleges the following. Between 2016 and October 15th, 2020, the defendant spent his money on drugs, escorts, and girlfriends, luxury hotels and rental properties, exotic cars, clothing, and other items of a personal nature. In short, everything but his taxes. They've found records alleging that Hunter pulled $1.6 million out of ATMs, spent 683000 on, quote, payments to various women, and 188000 on adult entertainment. Who, when they can't pay their taxes because they've been paying their hookers, who gets bailed out by millionaires or billionaires, mysteriously, uh, which he, by the way, should then owe taxes on that as well. The new charges include felonies for tax evasion and filing false returns and misdemeanors for failure to pay and failure to file taxes and returns. James Comer says now of IRS whistleblowers Gary Shapley and Joseph Ziegler placed their careers on the line to blow the whistle on misconduct and politicization of uh, in the Hunter Biden criminal investigation. Every American should applaud these men. The fact is that this is a circle that's getting tighter around the president. I mean, it's clear that the president has lied. He obviously lied uh, during the camp first campaign when he said he had no knowledge of these dealings. Hunter himself contradicted that. Hunter's associates said that it was utter nonsense. And this indictment could also beef up Republican arguments in favor of an impeachment inquiry. I do think this will further ignite the House Republicans who've been desperately eager to do this. I think President Trump has probably urged them to do it, and now he has an ally in the new House Speaker, uh, Mike Johnson. So uh, this will be a log on the fire. Uh, the fire may not uh, actually reach the door of the White House, uh, but the Republicans will try and depict it as such. This 56-page indictment does not accuse President Biden of any wrongdoing, but it does put the president in a pickle because it may soon be difficult for him to say the process needs to play out while President Trump is being prosecuted. Uh, and then in, interfere or uh, intercede in any way while the process plays out as his son is being prosecuted. Brian? Yeah, it's going to be a fascinating uh, matchup if these, these two candidates do go against each other a lot in the courtroom. Uh, thanks, Peter.